Hello everyone, my name is Arsh and a very warm welcome to all of you in this AI assistant app in Flutter and in the previous videos we are able to send some messages to the chatbot and we are able to get a static or a dummy response from the chatbot but now we want to get the actual responses so for that we have already created a function or an API call okay to chat GPT API and we are providing the necessary information but this is just printing the data we want the data so for that what I am doing is I will return a string here okay so which means we should return the response so instead of printing I can just call a return keyword and just return this particular response and I can just print the data so it will be good for me debugging purpose okay and there are very high chances that this API key expires or user is not connected to internet so in that case we need to handle this stuff so what I am gonna do is I am just gonna wrap this around try catch block so simply just cut this one out and I can use try okay so simply try and I can use a catch block here too simply like this error and now inside this I will paste those codes and what if any error occurs so if any error occurs now first thing is print that error okay and you can just mention anything you like so in my case I just simply print the function name and then e for error and I just want to return something I don't want that user doesn't know something has happened so in that case so simply something went wrong try again in some time this is the message that user will receive when the error occurs so we are pretty good to go with it so inside this chat controller instead of adding this random message what I will do is I will actually uh, call that API so simply final and I can call it response and simply we can use those API by using APIs and simply import it dot get answer and we can pass the question that is text controller dot text and we will get the response but we need to add a await keyword here okay so simply await and it will be proper response and then we can simply add that response here okay like response and we can just simply press control save now let's pass something so let me type something here like now I am sending hello and if I just click on this rocket you will get something went wrong try again in some time actually I was not connected to internet so let me send a hello again and in this case you will see it takes some time to actually show that message so hello how can I assist you today so I am able to get chat GPT response so what I can do is uh, I can add a dummy message here till the original message is received so I can just simply do it like this because it takes a quite a lot time to show this message okay and if you are typing something too long then it will take even more time so simply a dummy message and now before adding the response what we can do is we can remove the last item from the list okay and after that we can add a new item which means remove this dummy message and that I then add this message and if we wish we can write something to this dummy message like please wait and simply control save and now if I just type something tell me a joke and if I click on this arrow you will see please wait and now sure here is a classic one for you why don't scientists trust atoms because they are make up everything okay and now if I just add anything else like again tell me another one okay so simply like this and if I click on this rocket you will see uh, it will add a please wait and it is showing main message but there is some issues like this is moving this is kind of transparent okay we don't want this text field to be transparent and another thing this is a very simple motion uh, if we wish to make it a kind of a bouncing effect what we could have done is uh, we could have added a physics and we could have added bouncing physics okay simply like this and after that if we want to make this one a bit white colored so what we can do is inside this one so simply inside this decoration we can use a color so fill color and simply colors dot white and simply we can use is field actually you have to make this true fill to true then only that color will be shown and if I press control say oh actually my application is terminated so I just need to restart the app but in your case you can simply test it so as you can see my application is up and running 
and you can see that white color behind this actually the background is also white so you won't be able to differentiate it so i have to type something here but before that actually when user moves to ai chatbot now i want to add a default message from the chatbot like hello how can i assist you today so what i'm gonna do is i will move to this chat controller and inside this list of messages i'm just gonna add a default message this is hello how can i help you and if i press Control save and if i just go back and click on this one now you will see a default message here if you wish you can add another guiding messages but for now this is more than enough and i can type anything i like here so simply can you tell me a story and if i just click on this arrow it is showing please wait okay and we need to wait a little bit because it will consume a lot of time so here comes the story and actually is quite a big story so we can even test this bouncing effect so as you can see there is a bouncing effect here okay due to the bouncing physics attribute that we added in this screen okay so simply this one bouncing scroll physics and also as you can see this is not transparent okay there is a white color and due to which it looks a bit good so with this we are able to chat with our chatbot but there is one last concern okay that is this please wait we want a animated please wait not the static so which we will cover in our next video so that's it for this video see you in the next video till then bye bye